edição de Sante. Brothers and sisters, please all stand for our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, 
that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All together, glory, glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady, Queen of Peace. Most Holy Virgin, by your divine motherhood, you merited to share in your divine son's prerogative of universal kingship and to be called Queen of Peace. May your powerful intercession guard your people from all hatred and discord among themselves and direct their hearts in the way of peace. Your son came to teach us this way for the good and well-being of all, and his church continues to guide our steps along that same way. Look kindly upon the efforts of Christ's vicar to call together and unite nations around the only center of saving faith. Enlighten the rulers of our country and of all countries on earth to follow this path to peace. Grant that there may be peace in our hearts, in our families, and in our world. Amen. Horatio Imperata against the COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a short while. Today is the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today, we also celebrate Father's Day. We offer this Mass for the following intentions, Thanksgiving of Benny and Terry and Cabo, Maricel Roda and family, Juliana Dupale, Corazon and Vivencio Santos and family. 
for the eternal repose of the soul of Benjamin Paolo, Katrina, Edgar, Lydia, Leonarda, Carolina, Jeffrey, Joyce, Gregorio, Lucy, Gandhi, and all the poor souls in purgatory. Our offerer for this Mass is Maricel Roda and family. Today is also Balikhandog Sunday. You may offer your Balikhandog envelopes during offertory. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Albert Addison. Please stand. The Holy Eucharist begins. <laughs> and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be Jesus, who saved us in the storms of life. May His grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. For the times we have placed all our trust in material resources rather than in the grace of your help, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times we have remained insensitive to the difficulties that were besetting individuals and nations, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times you have been a cause of difficulty to our relatives and friends through our negative remarks and insinuations, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shot within doors the sea when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness its swaddling bands, when I set limits for it and fastened the bar of its door and said, Thus far shall you come, but no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. They who sail the sea in ships, trading on the deep waters, they saw the works of the Lord and His wonders in the abyss. Give thanks to the Lord, for His love is everlasting. His command raised up a storm wind, which tossed its waves on high. They mounted up the heaven. They sank to the depths. Their hearts melted away in their pledge. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits, he rescued them. He hushed the storm to a gentle breeze, and the billows of the sea were stilled. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. They rejoiced that they were calmed, and he brought them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his kindness and his wondrous deeds to the children of men. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, Therefore, all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on we are regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care what, that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ito pong Sunday ito ay ito po ang 12th Sunday in ordinary time. Bang third Sunday of June. At alam naman po natin na pag third Sunday of June ay tinatawag po nating Father's Day. Yan. So kanina po sa Manila Memorial, yung blenes ko pong puntod ay ras po yung pagpapagawa kasi hinahabol yung Father's Day bukas. So mabilis. Basta lang ito ay maihabol sa pagdiriwang bukas na Father's Day. At sabi nga, bukas ay babalik uli sila sa Manila Memorial para makapiling itong tatay na sa makabilang buhay na last year. Yan. Para i-observe ang tinatawag na Father's Day. Mga kinikilig ko, mga kapatid, dayaan niyo pong magkwento po ako bago ko po simulan ang aking pagbabahagi, ang aking homily. Mayroon pong tatlong lalaki Ito pong mga lalaking ito ay medyo mga may edad na. At maliban sa sila ay mga may edad na, sila po ay may kapansanan. Yan. At itong tatlong mamang ito ay naisipan po nilang mangisda. Yan. Ang mga pangalan nitong tatlong lalaking ito, na medyo maedad na at may mga kapansanan, ay sina Vic, si Alex, at si June. Yan. Ano-anong mga kapansanan nitong tatlong nagbalak, mangisda? Itong si Vic, ang kanya pong sakit ay siya ay may sakit sa likod at balakang gawa ng matinding rayuma. Yan. Sakit sa balakang, sa likod. Gawa ng matinding rayuma. Yan po ang sakit na iniinda ni Vic. Yan. At samantalang itong si Alex, si Alex, ano naman ang kanyang sakit? Si Alex ay may kalabuan ng mata. Dahil may kalabuan ng mata, ay ang kanyang salamin ay makapal. Yan. Ito yung kanyang sakit. Malabo ang mata. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit makapal ang kanyang salamin. Yan si Alex. Samantalang si John, 
Ano naman ang karamdaman ni June? Kasi mga senior citizen na kasi ito eh. Yan. Si June ay may hika at hindi na makapagtrabaho. Yan. So, nang sila ay nasa laot, ay nakita nila si Jesus naglalakad sa tubig. Yan. Sa umpisa, hindi nila ito nakilala. Kaya ang ginawa nitong tatlo ay nagulat. Nagulat kasi may nakita silang naglalakad sa tubig. Kaya nagpakilala si Jesus. Ang sabi ni Jesus sa kanila, si Jesus ito, huwag kayong matakot. Yan. Kaya ang ginawa nitong tatlong mama, pinasakay nila si Jesus. Pinasakay nila si Jesus sa bangka. At ginawa nitong tatlo, isa sa nilang sinabi kay Jesus na nais nilang gumaling sa kanilang mga karamdaman. Kaya ang sabi ni Bik, sabi niya, Panginoon, gusto ko pong gusto ko pong mawala ang sakit ng aking likod at balakang. Ang ginawa ni Jesus, hinipo ito ang likod at balakang at nawala ang sakit na naramdaman ni Bik. Ngayon, si Alex naman ay nagsabing gusto niya makakita ng malinaw Gusto niya makakita ng malinaw. Kaya ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon, hinipo niya ang mata ni Alex. Tinanggal yung salamin. At ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon ay itinapon ang salamin sa dagat. Nagpasalamat si Alex. Kasi si Alex ngayon ay nakakita na ng malinaw. Yan. So gumaling si Bik. Si Alex. Ngayon naman, nais din na paggalingin ni Jesus, si June. Yan. Noong, noong pagagalingin na ni Jesus, si June sa kanyang sakit na hika, ay hindi pumayag si June. Bakit hindi siya pumayag? Ano ang sinabi ni June? Ang sabi ni June, Ako'y nakikinabang sa benefits ng disability insurance ng SSS. Baka mawala ito. Yan. Kaya ang Panginoon ay napatawa ang Panginoon. Kasi nga ayaw ni June na pagalingin siya. Baka mawalan siya ng benefits sa SSS. Yeah. Hindi po kayo tumawa. Tumawa po ang Panginoon. Ngayon, ang tao nga naman talaga ay ganyan. Yeah. Dapat daw, hayaan nating hipuin tayo ni Jesus sa kanyang mapagpagaling ng mga kamay. Katulad ng ginawa niya kay Bik at Alex. Si Jun, ayaw niyang papasukin ng Panginoon sa buhay niya. Ay ayaw niyang gumaling eh. Ayaw niyang papasukin ng Panginoon sa buhay niya. Bakit? Takot siyang mawala ang siguridad na dulot ng SSS benefits. Mga ginigilig ko mga kapatid, ganito tayo. Marami tayong takot sa buhay na karamihan ay hindi naman magaganap. May mga ilang senior citizen, bato-bato sa langit, ang matamaan huwag magagalit. May mga ilang senior citizen, takot sa bakuna. Takot sa bakuna. 
marami tayong takot. Hindi lamang sa bakuna. Takot tayo na maaksidente. Siyempre. Ano pa ho? Takot tayo magkasakit. Lalo na ngayong COVID. Lalo na ngayong pandemic. Ano pang takot? Takot tayo manakawan. Ano pa ho? Takot tayo mawala ng trabaho. Takot tayo magkamali. Takot tayo mabigo sa negosyo. At ang huli, takot tayong mamatay. Ilalo na po ngayon panahon ng pandemya. Kasi pag hindi ka nag-survive sa COVID-19, ikikremate ka. Kaya nabasa ko po yun sa Facebook, isang artista sa loob ng isang taon, sampung mahal sa buhay na matay. Sampo sa kanyang mga mahal sa buhay pumanaw dahil sa COVID-19. E siyempre, pag positive ka, diretso sunog. Kaya, dito sa ating Ibanghelyo, ang mga alagad na takot. Natakot ang mga alagad. Dahil, kaya, dahil sa kanilang takot, ano ang ginawa ng mga alagad? Nakita nila si Jesus at nakita nila si Jesus na tutulog. Para bang walang nangyayari ang sarap ng tulog ng Panginoon. Kaya ang gina- dahil sa takot, ano ang ginawa nila? Ginising nila ang Panginoon. Yan. Bakit kayo natatakot? Kaya ang ginawa ng Panginoon, pinatigil niya ang hangin hanggang ang kapaligiran ay maging kalmante. Kaya ano ang sabi na sa, ano ang sabi ng mga alagad sa Panginoon? Sino ito? Na kahit ang hangin, ang unos ay sumusunod sa kanya. Yan. Mga ginigilaw ko mga kapatid, we worry a lot. Tayo ay nagwo-worry. We want to know what tomorrow brings. It is said that worrying is such a fruitless exercise. Eh marami rin atang namamatay sa problemang sangkaterba. Yan. Do not be afraid of tomorrow. When tomorrow comes, God is already there. Similarly, we can say, do not be afraid of, of what is on the other side of death. For we know, God is there. Kaya itong ating ibanghelyong natunghayan sa araw na ito ay akmang-akma. Ngayon tayo ay nasa panahon pa ng pandemya. Hindi natin alam hanggang ngayon kung kailan ito matatapos. Dati-rati, dito sa Maynila, ang puno ang mga hospitals. Ngayon saan marami ang cases sa mga probinsya? Eh, dito naman sa Kamaynilaan, parang bumalik na yung normal kasi matrapik na. Yan. Parang lumabas na lahat ng mga sasakyan. Pero may COVID pa. Siguro, Malakas ang loob kasi marami nang napakunahan. Pero takot pa rin, marami pa rin ang takot. Kasi may mga iilan pa rin na hindi pa napakunahan. At iilan, ayaw magpabakuna. Yan. Takot. Yan. Kaya kung tayo ay laging matatakot, eh walang mangyayari. 
Naalala ko yung minsan sa eroplano. Nagkaroon po ng aberya yung eroplano habang ito'y nasa itaas. Yan. Lahat ng mga pasahero ay nagkakagulo. Subalit, meron pong isang bata. Meron isang bata na naglalaro. Napansin nila yung bata parang hindi apektado. Hindi apektado sa nagaganap sa loob ng eroplano na halos ang lahat ng pasahero ay hindi na matahimik, nagkakagulo na. Ngayon, tinanong nila yung bata, bakit parang wala ka lang? Para bang wala kang, parang okay ka lang? Nagkakagulo na lahat ng pasahero, ikaw naman ay naglalaro lang. Alam niyo ang sagot ng bata, e bakit ako matatakot? Ang tatay ko ata ang piloto. Kung ano man ang mangyari, isi-save niya ako. Ako ang una niyang isi-save. Bakit nga naman tayo matatakot? Meron tayong Diyos na sinasampalatayanan. Bakit nga naman tayo matatakot? Meron tayong Diyos na kakampi. Matakot tayo kung tayo ay wala sa Panginoon. Matakot tayo kung wala tayong kinakapitan. E Diyos ang ating kinakapitan. Siya ang ating pinananaligan. Alam natin na hindi niya tayo pababayaan. Kaya dapat walang lugar ang tinatakot na, ang sinasabing worrying. Wala dapat puwang ang tinatawag na pagkatakot. Kaya hayaan yung tapusin ko ito sa sinabi ni St. Teresa of Avila. Yan. Sabi ni St. Teresa of Avila, huwag daw matakot. Do not be afraid. All things are passing. All things are passing. Only God suffices. Solo Dios, basta. Let nothing upright, upright you. Let nothing disturb you. All things are passing. Only God suffices. Solo Dios, basta. Kaya kung ang Panginoon ay kakampi natin, bakit pa tayo matatakot? Siya lamang talaga ang ating inaasahan sa dami ng problema at pagsubok na ating tinatamasa sa araw-araw, lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Sa Kanya lang tayo kakapit. Siya lamang. Sabi nga, solo Dios basta. Only God suffices. Please stand to profess our faith. All together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Surrounded by difficulties of all sorts, let us turn to the Lord in humble prayer for the needs of, of all mankind the church, and our own. In every petition, our response will be, Lord, show us your saving love. Lord, show us your saving love. For the universal church, the community of Christ's disciples, 
May she always seek her salvation and help in her founder and savior. Let us pray. Lord, show us your saving love. For the Holy Father, the bishops, and our parish priests, may they always show a practical compassion toward those who are experiencing great difficulties and those who plead for help. Let us pray. Lord, show us your saving love. For the families that are undergoing severe affective relation, relation, relational or economical crisis, may they find in the Christian faith the source of reconciliation, peace, and hope. Let us pray. Lord, show us your saving love. For all fathers, may they care for their families as God the Father care for us, and may they be blessed with love, peace, and joy. Let us pray. Lord, show us your saving love. For ourselves and the people dear to us, may we be protected against all dangers be blessed in our undertakings, and be led to rely evermore on Jesus, saving grace. Let us pray. Lord, show us your saving love. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, show us your saving love. Ipinapanalangin din natin ang mga taong pinangakuan nating ipanalangin. Lalong-lalo na yung mga nangangailangan ng ating dasal. Lalong-lalo na yung mga nasa ospital dahil sa karamdamang COVID-19. Pinapanalangin natin ang ating mga medical frontliners. Pinapanalangin natin ang lahat ng mga tatay sa buong mundo, yumauman o nabubuhay pa, pinapanalangin natin ang lahat ng mga tumutulong sa atin. For these intentions and all other intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, show us your saving love. Lord God, source of our hope and salvation, watch over your people who implore your help with faith. May we constantly experience the power of your saving love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Ngayon po ay Balik Handog Sunday. You may offer your envelopes in the front. Thank you. Please be seated. Friend, that my sacrifice in yours 
may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we make offering of a heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world and all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts i pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. In silence, we remember our departed loved ones. And all those who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to sing the Lord's Prayer. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
brothers and sisters, this is the Lord Jesus who saves us in the storms of life. He's the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion 
may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We will have we will have a short video about Father's Day. Ating Ama ang haligi ng ating mga tahanan. Sila ang dahilan kung bakit patuloy tayo may pagkain sa hapag, kung bakit nakakabit natin ang ating mga naisin, at higit sa lahat, kung bakit tayo nakatayo ngayon sa sarili ating mga paa. Para sa akin, si Papa ay hindi lamang isang haligi ng aming tahanan. Isa siyang superhero. Hindi man perpekto, ngunit makikita mo ang pagmamahal niya sa akin. Natatandaan mo pa ba, Papa? Kasi ako oo. Sa tuwing naglalaro tayo noong bata pa ako, hindi mo alintana yung pagod, makita mo lang akong masaya. Ikaw lagi ang aking takbuhan sa tuwing kailangan ko ng masusumbungan. Nasaksihan mo ang unang pag-iyak ko, ang unang paghakbang ng aking mga paa sa lupa, ang unang tawa ko at ang unang pagbigas ko ng mga salitang, Papa. Nandun ka sa lahat ng mga unang pangyayari sa buhay ko. Hindi mo ako iniwan sa pag-angat at pagbagsak ko sa buhay. Naalala ko pa nung naikwento mo sa akin nung nangyari nung sinubukan kong maglakad ng ako lang. Tuwang-tuwa ka pa nga noon dahil nakakatayo na ako. Pero agad yung napawi nung makita mong nadapa ako. Agad kang tumakbo patungo sa akin dahil sa kaba mo. Sabi mo pa nun, anak, alam kong hindi mo ako maiintindihan ngayon. Ngunit gusto kong malaman mo na ako ang magsisilbing mga paa mo sa mga darating na panahong mapapagod ka. Kapag hindi mo na kaya, hayaan mong ako ang maging gabay at pahinga mo sa mga pagsubok na darating sa buhay mo. Lagi mong tatandaan na nandito lang si Papa para sa'yo. Mahal na mahal kita. Nang nasa tamang edad na ako at nakapagtapos na, iyon ang pinakamasayang nangyari sa buhay mo. Ang makita akong nakasuot ng toga at may hawak na diploma. Ngayon nakahanap na ako ng trabaho at maayos na ang buhay. Nais kitang pasalamatan papa dahil sa kabila ng lahat ng hindi mo pa rin ako iniwan. Lagi ka pa rin nakaalalay sa akin at nakagabay sa mga desisyon ko sa buhay. Maraming salamat papa sa pagkakandong mo sa akin mula sa panganib. Salamat dahil ikaw ang nagsisilbi kong mga mata sa tuwing mundo'y nag-iiba. Salamat dahil ikaw ang nagsilbi kong mga paa sa tuwing gumagapang ako sa pagsubok ng buhay. Kaya naman, hayaan mo ako naman ang magsilbi mong mga mata. Paghirap ka ng makakita. Mga paa, dahil sa katandaan ay hirap ka ng maglakad. At higit sa lahat, hayaan mo ako naman ang mga iyong pahinga sa oras na ang iyong kapagulat. Hayaan mong suklian ko ang lahat ng ginawa mo para sa akin. Hayaan mong iparamdam ko sa iyo ang pagmamahal at pasasalamat ng isang anak sa kanyang ama. Hayaan mo lang ako, Papa. Huwag ka nang mangamba dahil ako naman ngayon. Ako naman na mag-aalaga sa iyo. Kaya ngayong araw ng mga ama, pinagpapasalamat ko sa Diyos na ikaw ang binigay niya sa akin. Dahil sa iyo, may isang anak na lumaking may takot sa Diyos, may pagmamahal sa pamilya at may malasak sa kapwa. Ako yun! Kaya Papa, maraming salamat at mahal na mahal kita.
Thank you, Social Ministry Commission. Ngayon po ay babasbasan po natin ang mga tatay na nandirito. Tayo po tayo sa harapan. Yung mga fathers po natin. Tayo po tayo. Father Albert will give you your blessing. Alam ko po ang konti lang ang tatay na narito, sabalit lahat naman po tayo ay merong mga tatay. Maaring pumanaw na o sila yung mga buhay pa, atin silang inaalala. Prayer of blessing on Father's Day. God, our eternal Father, creator of heaven and earth, when you have given us your son Jesus to be our redeemer, you chose to entrust him to the care of St. Joseph to be his earthly father. We ask you to bless the fathers and grandfathers who are gathered here today. Bless them with the strength of your spirit. May they love their wives with faithfulness and trust. May they establish their families with perseverance in work. And may they all be exemplar in Christian virtues. Give them the strength which comes from the gospel so that they be witnesses of Christ to others. We also remember today the fathers who are working in other countries away from their families in order to provide for their daily needs. Keep them always true to your commandments. Keep them faithful in marriage and protect them from any harm. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Palapakan po natin ang mga ama. Happy Father's Day. Mapu na po tayo. Wala, wala pong announcement, Father. Wala pong announcement, Father. Para po sa ating kaalaman, ang total po na natitira para sa ating community pantry, online donation, ay ang total po ay 46,659. From June 5 to 11, to 11-20-21. Sa maraming salamat po sa inyong walang sawang pagtulong para ang ating community pantry ay may pagpatuloy. Tumayo na po tayo. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May let His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May look upon you with kindness and give you His peace. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to face the difficulties of life with faith and courage. Thanks be to God. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pagsubaybay through online. God bless you and Mama Mary loves you. Good evening. Good evening po, Father. And, and thank, thank you, you very much.